welcome back. New hiccup, new week. Let's see what we can do. So, something that turned up that I'm very happy with uh, last week. Um, this is more of a comfort thing than a performance thing, but uh, so we got some new seats. Um, a little bit different, uh, of course. One's kind of similar, but there are two differences here, um, and I'll explain why. Um, so, this is a front seat drivers, and this is a rear seat. Why did I get a rear seat? Because these things are really hard to get up in Canada right now, and I managed to get that at a good price, so I'm willing to muck around with the bracket on that one and uh, put that in the passenger seat. Um, flip them over here and we'll give you a look at what the actual difference is. Um, yeah, not a lot else. The cushion might be a little bit different as well down there. Just strips out a little further. But uh, other than that, yeah, have a look underneath and we'll show you. So these are the brackets that go underneath here. So the difference is, I mean you'll see here, they line up and the back seat passages one I got is just, I mean it's shorter by about a couple of inches. So all I'll do is, I think I'm just going to run a bracket underneath and then bolt this to it. I'll just say a bit of flat steel and we'll just uh, bolt it to there and then this will bolt to that. I mean, slight difference, but I'm not going to get too uh, uh, upset about it. I mean, price-wise, I mean, from the front they still look the same. So, uh, yeah, not going to worry. But I'm going to put the easy one in first. Let's do that. Uh, the driver's one, and uh, see how she looks. So, just one other thing. With these, you've just got to take. Uh, this catch off your original seat. It's the release mechanism. Um, you take that and that'll actually bolt into the new mount uh, here. It goes in the bottom. It's just one, the only thing you'll have to take off the old one and that. But no, let's get into it. So one other thing I got for this uh, pass, uh, the driver's seat is the seat slider kit off Amazon. Yeah, we can put a link to that uh, for you. Um, try it out. Seems like a fairly heavy duty one, so that's kind of why I went for it. Um,
So what I've done is just drilled out the holes. Here's the originals, just to fit the uh, slider. Different width, so I've opted to go drill about the back. See if she fits. Also, I had to get uh, change the bolts out from these coach ones they've given us, just so you get the clearance through the slider. I think these are 40 mil, eights metric. Keep everything metric on it. So we got in, um, just had to adjust the uh, the uh, slider lever, I had it upside down, but you just got to push it, why well, you got to push it down um, when you move it, just to lock it in, otherwise you'll get that, but if you actually push it down properly, it actually locks properly, so you just got to watch that, it's a little uh, trigger, I don't know, it just needs a little bit of adjustment, but, but no, for the most part, it actually looks really good and gives you that quite a bit of adjustment. My wife's five foot something, so I mean, if she jumps in, at least now she can bring it forward without having a bunch of packer cushions behind her. And that, she can bring it up quite close. Yeah, which then I'm jammed right up against the uh, steering wheel, so that's. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I might actually do it with the other one as well. I'll see. Um, but no, it took a bit longer just because of the uh, uh, adjustments and so on. A bit more modification, of course. As always, what's new on this project now? Eh? Modification, modifications. But uh, no. It's good, I think uh, tomorrow we'll have a go at the other one. It's slightly different of course because it's the uh, rear seat. Um, it's slightly smaller by about an inch or two. I don't think you're really going to notice, especially with this one sliding back and forth. And that, I mean, but, uh, nice seats, way more comfortable, so that they lock you in the bottom parts mainly. Um, come up and you actually feel a lot more wedged in here, which is good. Um, even for a bigger person I think it'll still be good. Not too hard to install on I say if you weren't putting the slider in, um, you'd be finished a lot faster than that, but no, maybe with this one. Old man comfort. I like it. Um, yeah. 
might have to have a look at that. Just that slider. I think it's just uh, a little bit out of alignment, maybe. Just the one. It does seem to lock in there when it locks in there, so it's good. And that. Um, yeah. So tomorrow we'll uh, continue on with the other one. We'll just have to cut some strapping uh, just to put across to, uh, so we can put the uh, brackets I got. The same, same for this one. Because at the time I was going to buy obviously the two front seats, not a back seat and a front seat. So. Yeah, we'll put a bit of strapping across for that. And, uh, yeah, see how that one goes. A bit more work. Well, I'm not putting the uh, slider in straight away, so I'm not too worried about that one. So it's just really cutting those straps. Putting that in. I'm just going to whack it in. And then later on, I'll do a, uh, uh, that, a modification to that. See how we go. Don't really think you need that one sliding back and forth, but. Whatever. I'll see how, about, how I feel about it later on and that um, I've decided to uh, send my ECU off to uh, get that flashed with the upgrades and increased horsepower and so on and just see how it uh, see how it affects the uh, idling starting stalling all that shit see if it gets rid of it um, yeah would be nice um, but there yeah. join us tomorrow muck around with that other one okay under our second seat here now this is the one that was made for the back uh, wouldn't say it's probably recommended but I say I got this one a lot cheaper a slightly slightly uh, different in depth um, so my idea is to got these packers I cut because rather than putting the bracket right across I'm going to probably just put there and then put the packer between here and the bracket so it cinches down then I'll just see how the other the actual main main seat bracket attaches to it if I've still got room to attach it or if, if this gets in the way so yeah those on see how she looks okay so that's what it looks like mounted up these spaces I mean it's really rigid I just put washers in there to give them more surface area for these spaces to push against and that um, no super sturdy <coughs> and that shows you sort of how much shorter it's only shorter by maybe two and a half inches there than the originals stuff uh, okay so I've got it all mounted up um, so that's what the spaces look like I mean it's pretty rigid tightened down uh, if you had to go this way uh, again I had to do it because they really had to get up here right now these seats so um, and it's just where I had to go with that one uh, buy a rear seat for the front seat um, and all these holes are uh, screw ups those ones um, so yeah you just mount it forward in line with this bracket down the bottom and that'll line the seat up properly inside I found uh, everything's bolted down um, again these are the original holes here I just re-drilled one towards back and the front spacing the same and that we'll chuck it in and you can see how she looks in so I mean for the most part looking at the top you can't tell uh, front to rear it's just when you look down the bottom here it's just a little bit shorter in the uh, seating area and that but not a big issue um, but no it looks good if someone didn't tell you you wouldn't know
Not too bad. No, I think it worked out alright. Saved me some dollars. Uh, about 150 bucks, I think, on front seat to the rear, something like that, for us up here in the north. Uh, yeah, that concludes this week. Um, I think next week. I think I got my doors coming. I want to. Hopefully they come. I'd like to get those on. New ones. Um, exhaust should be here. I've had to go with a uh, different make. The maker I was after uh, just couldn't get the parts to finish theirs. So I had to cancel that and go with a different uh, manufacturer, unfortunately. But that should be here a lot faster than that. So yeah, join us. Um, like if you like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And we'll catch you next week. Bye.